Ooh, 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 ooh. Shout out to Bobby Brown. Now let me hear you say, well, Whoa. welcome, little big Negro sisters around the world to the jazz. But channel, and this is that nigga Jung. Jung, yeah, pissed to me. <laughs> oh we do that Korean style. I think I don't know something about Korean sounding constipated sometimes, or is it ja- Japanese? Japanese is the one that kind of. I would never know the difference. Uh, it's all right. I love you all, though. For that person out there in Japan listening in to us, we love y'all niggas. I took a dump in my hand in Okinawa, Japan. Uh, Bars. Listen, I am his, real. not your mm. co-host, Lil Mattress, spelled L-I-L-M-A-T-T-R-E-S-S. On all social yes. media, Lil Mattress. Hit up LilMattress.com. Mm. And uh, we are out there. Listen, man, you are joining uh, episode 29, 29 of the Watermelon versus Pumpkin Podcast. Yes. Watermelon vs. Pumpkin. pumpkin. So that's watermelonvspumpkin.com, man. If you want to listen to it, you can mm. listen to us anywhere, man. We're out there. If you listen to podcasts, you know where you upload your podcast? Yeah. You can listen to us over there as well. <laughs> um, we're the everywhere. We're talking about iTunes, Apple, Stitcher, Spotify, mm. that. anywhere that uh, you listen to your podcast, we're on there as well, man. Mm. So give us a fucking listen. Hit us up with a download. Uh, tell a friend, a tell a friend, uh, uh, all that stuff. You know. And um, man. Uh, started up an Instagram, so IG, IG Watermelon vs. Pumpkin. Mm, we mm. keep it simple around here, because you know how some people do that weird shit where they're like, yeah, 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 my, my name is Watermelon vs. Pumpkin, but uh, it's at Stone Cold Steve Austin 316. <laughs> <And> you're like, <laughs> <laughs> hashtag it, it, There's no, it doesn't make sense. All right. <laughs> but yeah, man, so everything is Watermelon vs. Pumpkin, except. Except, talk to him. The store, man. We just opened up mm. the merchandise store. So if you want to rock some fresh shit, if you want to represent the podcast, mm. man, um, that is WVPshop.com. Oof. It's simple, man. Yeah, Watermelon right. versus pumpkin. Right. But, you know, w- we, we, we were not going to make you write out the entire thing. Right. WVPshop.com, man. We have... A ton of shit up there. We're talking about T-shirts. We got sweatshirts. We got mugs. We got socks. We got uh, so much shit, man. Hit up with the logo. Pop culture tees up there. That my uh, yeah, yeah. With with the basic logo. Uh, Negro sisters. This is for the visual guys. For the guys just listening, you're gonna have to. For the people on YouTube, you can see it, man. That's that's what it is right there. That watermelon versus. Pumpkin logo, man. The logo done by my boy Migs. Migs. Uh, hit him up at Migs the Artist on uh, IG, man. He does great work. Yes. M I G G S the Artist. Shout out to Migs. Correctly. Appreciate it, brother. Um, That's dope. But yeah, man. Uh, WVPshop.com to get all that beautiful mm. stuff, mm. man. Uh, we're trying to, you know, pay for the production. It costs us a little bit of money to put this thing on every month, man. And. Uh, Mm, Hit it up, man. Squale. Let yeah. us know what's yeah, what. Yeah, and okay. also, final, final vinyl, mm-hmm. 203-594-6977 is the hotline, man. You mm. want to call that. You want to text that. Let us know what the brook is yeah. up. Let us know if you have any T-shirt designs. Let us know if you got problems. Let, if you know, let us know if you right. got feelings. Right. Let us know if you're doing the Kiki you're Challenge. The Kiki We're challenge. not. <laughs> but we are selling a Kiki T-shirt on <laughs> WVPshop.com. So yes. hit it up. So that's an actual challenge, right? Because uh, I was at work at um, the uh, medical facility last night, and the young lady's like, look, we did And she was going up and down the, the hallway dancing with the Kiki song. I said, okay, I guess that's the Kiki challenge. You got you to gotta dumb out a little bit? I guess you got to dumb out to the Kiki song? It's weird because it's, it's just literally everybody doing the same thing. Okay. Um, apparently, somebody came up with the dance like then, to then, where... I've personally never heard the song besides those challenges. I've, I've heard but it recently, yeah. When you um apparently you just do the exact same moves as everybody else to right. the song. And then is there is it when the breakdown happens you got to pump you got to hump something? I know nothing. I, yeah, I think cuz when I seen it <laughs> there was a breakdown part of the beat that you know and then and then the chick that was doing it she was like went up against like an x-ray machine and started grinding and pumping. I'm not sure if her boss sees it, she'll still have her job, but whatever. You know yeah, what I mean? think everybody <laughs> might put their own little flair onto it. But, right. uh, I know that there's like a basic where everybody does right. the same dance, which is Template odd, is it a doesn't template really seem shit. like a yeah. challenge when everyone's doing the exact <laughs> same fucking thing. But you do it, and then you add something different. It's a twist. It's a, it's a titty twist. The twist? <laughs> <laughs> shit, maybe the twist, man. That was a dope dance. 
Niggas don't remember the I twist. don't think so. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Niggas in the 50s did. <laughs> right? Definitely. And that was like, um, that was probably, that was probably like grinding nowadays. Right. You know what I mean? That that, was oh my God, they're doing the twist. That was the blasphemy. Listen, well, back that, was in a, the... that was a big thing about Elvis. They were like, he's moving his hips and right. he's gy gyrating hips. Listen, that was the thing back in the fifties. If Shorty showed a little kneecap, it was hard. Mm -hmm. Niggas got hard, <laughs> right? <laughs> she showing elbow. Nigga, you, did you see her elbow? Oh my god! You know, it was like long sleeves and long dresses. <laughs> that was it. You, you never know. saw a collarbone. Yeah, but you know what's real? What I appreciate about that kind it's of era, with that, you know, is the, you know, you finally got the cookies. Like, oh my god, you been hiding that. Look at that body. You know what I mean? It's like, it was a surprise. You know what I mean? It was a gift surprise. Surprise. Because mm -hmm. even once you got all the clothes off, then you had to fight through the jungle down below. <laughs> you know what I mean? But if she had that teardrop booty. <laughs> <laughs> and it was something with the bras back then that made their breasts kind of pointy. <laughs> they were, yeah, all pointy bras, which I don't know why that was a look. And it, I think it's pointy bras sculpted the breasts back then to be very uh, cone-shaped. <laughs> Symmetrically, uh, head yeah. up at the cone teddy, cone teddy. <laughs> you know, well, shout out to the fifties, man. I kind of wish I was around, and you know, not really. <laughs> I'm about time travel, man. I, I hope that they figure it out one day. But one mm -hmm. thing that I did hear about time travel is that we won't be able to travel back before we invented time travel. Ah, think about oh, it. Oh, let that, it plan. It makes sense, though. Right. But you know, from there on out, you can go back. Exactly. So, like, from the moment that we figure out how to do it, that would be the beginning. That right. that would be the spot that we could only go back to. Right. So, so, guys, after the time machine comes out and you want to cheat on your lady, do it, and then go back in time and then never exactly. happen. <laughs> but it's a crazy thing to think about, man. And some people have the wild out uh, theories about that shit. Like, uh, it's called the Mandela effect. Mm. Of um, So, some people do think that time travel is real because of that. But have you ever heard of that? Like, you remember growing up, the books, mm. the Berenstein Bears. Yep. Okay. The Bears. But the how did you think that that was spelled? And I don't mean the entire thing, but the end of it. It was Bernstein Bears. Bernstein Bears. Right? Yeah. Stein, Stein. Come to it? find out, it's the Bear Stain Bears. The Bear Stain Bears. That's how it's pronounced. That doesn't make sense to me. And it doesn't make sense to a million other people out there <laughs> to where, like, I for, for, like for my entire life, all I always remember, I remember reading the Bernstein Bears books, yep. and it was at the end, Bern. S T E I N, the Berenstein yeah. Bears. Right. It's not what it is. It's not what it is. No. Did it, so the spelling is that way, but it's not how it's said. No, that's not how it's spelled. It, what the fuck? Every book says that. Bro, <laughs> bro and this is the wild <laughs> shit because once I, yo, once I found it out, I went down to the basement, found a couple of them. Yeah. Bro, it's not. It's wow. Berenstein. Berenstein. Like, it, either Berenstein. S T E I N. T A N E or S T E A N E, but like it's Bernstein. It's not the Bernstein Bears. Well, that's a way to fuck up a nigga childhood. <laughs> Bro, it's wild, man. You know, everything you thought was real. So the cat in the hat, not really cat in the hat, you bum ass nigga. For niggas. real. But, but that's one stupid? thing that people talk about to where they say that um, that's mm. part of the, uh, it called, like I said, called the Mandela effect because back in the day, everyone just thought Mandela had died and it was right. like, oh, he didn't die yet. <laughs> fuck, he's still and alive. He's still alive. <laughs> yeah, he was in jail. Same, same thing happened to Richard Pryor when Richard uh, Pryor was in her own because he even came out with something, whether it was a CD, a project or something called I'm Not Dead Yet. Wow. Um, That's funny. There might have been the N word in there, but of course, I'm not <laughs> I'm not permitted. <laughs> but yeah, there, there was that. The, the Bernstein Bears was one of them. Um, wow. Like I said, the Mandela effect was obviously another one of them. And there were a couple other things to where literally everybody I know remembers it the way that it, you know, yeah, like, you, like remember it. you grew up with it. You wow. remember it like that. And then you go back and look and it's like, holy shit. <laughs> and that's, like I said, one of the things for time travel, people have, you know, conspiracy theories about right. this stuff. And, and it's kind of like uh, Back to the Future. When back, they were, yep. He's starting to disappear from the picture. Right. And they're saying, man, maybe go people back went back just to fuck with people. Who knows, yeah. man? I'm not saying I believe it. I'm just saying it's crazy to think mm. something that you knew your entire life. That's how you remember it from childhood. And, of course, as, right. as kids, we might not remember things correctly. But when literally everybody remembers it a certain way and then you find out, like, it wasn't it was, like that. It was not that at all. Like, I mean, who, who changed I mean, Somebody uh, changed somebody, something. It's bullshit. I mean, when Santa was revealed, it, was, it, was, it wasn't that bad. I kind of knew already, I think. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't get the whole, uh, 
Do you remember your reaction to uh, Santa, the, the the unravel, the reveal of that nigga not real? Just disappointment <laughs> because uh, <laughs> like, huh? because it was at a point where I knew um, my mom's handwriting. Oh, oh, okay, damn, you was on that plagiarism shit. Like, look at this shit, man, this your writing. Ah, yep. I I was just a dumb nigga, naive, <laughs> and I just my brother was trying to tell me. I'm like, nah, nigga, I ain't gonna tell them. I know that. Yeah, yep. get out of here because if I tell them, I'm not gonna get shit. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna play long for a little bit. <laughs> no, that was uh, yeah, it was definitely my my mom's handwriting. I, wow. I recognize it because I think we had just gotten old enough, whatever it was, seven or eight years old, where they yep. had kind of like stopped trying so hard to hide it, and we're just on that like <laughs> we're just reading the closet, hanging right, out man, and shit. Just fuck it. <laughs> yeah, just gonna leave it on the couch, huh, mom? <laughs> for real, that's the shit. Wow, the Mandela effect. That's uh, that's, that's, that's yeah, man. Like, I know that there's more out there, but I forget. What, oh, like right. like that. Um, everybody in there, not not everybody, but everybody remembers a movie with um, Sinbad being a genie. Like, yeah, there's, wait, it's not real, bro. <laughs> wait, yeah. It's not real. There's Sinbad a genie, but not him as a genie, right? Is that what it was? There was a movie Sinbad there, about a genie, but not everybody about remembers <laughs> a movie where Sinbad the comedian. Yeah, wait, was a genie. You know, I think they're not blend, I think exist. they're I think they're blending it with Kazam. <laughs> but no, but that that's what everybody says, and it's right. like no. I remember Sinbad being it, a genie. It doesn't exist, it, and it doesn't exist. It's, it's not a real shit. thing. I, can, I, but I feel like I've seen him in big ass floaty pants. <laughs> Bro, so does everyone else, <laughs> and that's the crazy thing. <laughs> that's the crazy thing. We're like, yo, no, no, no. I have that memory. Oh my god. So. Maybe That's time travel is up. real, man. Let Maybe. us know if you believe that time travel is real, man. <laughs> 203-594-6977. Call or text. Of course, oh. it's always free, man. Listen. So I'm on the same thing with God as time travel. I'm like, mm. I don't know, man. No, <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm what not about sure. that guy that was online not too long ago that said he was from the future and he predicted Trump to win another term and then he had gave a name of a person that's going to be president after him? And I want to go back and see that. It's like, okay. Uh, right. See, maybe if that motherfucker's right, like, oh my God. Yeah. He was talking about shit from like, he was from, what year did he say? He was from 2030 something or 2040 something. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It was like some weird shit. And mm -hmm. it's like, really, pal? Well, that's the thing. Yes. Cause you always got the, uh, the crazies out there. But then there is the thing of, that'd be a cool thing to look up and, oh. hey, find out in four more years if it's, right. uh, cause if I, it, I don't come to, life or right. if he ends up dead if it right. comes, you know what i mean that thing i i think uh i don't foresee youtube going anywhere it's just too strong you know so i mean that shit's like fucking documented now once the shit kind of gets out there man it's not going anywhere yeah uh so we'll be able to look back on that mm -hmm. you know, I, I look forward to being 58 <laughs> looking back like oh, look at this nigga remember what this nigga said this right <laughs> i don't know if trump's gonna run again man I, i'd be interested to see it because yeah, I, don't. I think there's part of him that has the ego of like, no, man, I'm still run this shit. You know what I mean? But then I'll there's part of wrong. it where you're in your 70s and you're a billionaire. Right. What else you got? But be? then again, he's been a billionaire. That's like I always remember the LL his cool legacy he's chasing at this point. Yeah, 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 yeah. I always remember the LL Cool J line where he says, "I've been making 20 mil 20 years in a row," and I'm like. Right. Jesus, fuck. <laughs> like, that's just, imagine that right. of like, okay, perhaps he's inflating the numbers, but regardless of right, that, he's right. been rich he's been for rich. over 20 years. That's, that's you know, like, and, and he's still a young man. Like, yeah. LL came out when he was like fucking 16 when he did mm -hmm. uh, I'm Bad. Like, he was yeah. a fucking teenager. <laughs> yeah. He couldn't even spend his money until he turned 18. Like, oh, I can spend it now? Mm -hmm. Cool. And then, been ever, and then his movie's probably where he make most of his fucking money from. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I'd say he probably made more in the movies than the music, no? I'm trying to think of the movies that he was in. Uh, I mean, obviously, there was some... He did one of the Halloween movies. He I know did that. Halloween's. He did a Deep he did Blues. A Deep Blue Sea, baby. He was, <laughs> Deep he was on uh, one of the a series show or two, right? He had I his, know, own, he had his, he had own, his show. own show. He had his own show. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, from Tyler Perry, throws him in all his shits, but a lot. Does he? He throws him uh, in yeah, a lot I of them. I, I think at least two or three. Um, he was in like the holiday one, uh, you know, when he first started showing his bald head, you mm -hmm. know, it was a long time before L showed that don't yeah. piece, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. I wonder if he opened up the doors for Memphis Bleak to do the same thing. <laughs> he was like, you know what? <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah. Bleak supposedly, um, yo, it's weird to see what you call it these days. I, I know Bleak was supposedly had came out. I didn't see the interview where he was kind of 
saying that he forewarned Dame Dash a long time ago about how Jay was going to do things or whatever. Mm. He was pr- Cleo and the shit. <laughs> you know, supposedly the, the end of the Memphis rock. Clee. Yeah, Memphis <laughs> Clee. He knew the whole. He knew the whole time yeah. that it was going to happen, and it did. Uh, but the, it was weird to watch how skinny Beanie Siegel is. Have you mm. seen him recently? I know he had that lot of like. You know, before I had to realize, I'm like, what the fuck happened to Beans? But then it was like when I said, oh, okay, he had some real medical shit yeah, yeah. that caused him that way. But now he's like deep into, um, he's a Muslim. Yeah, I don't know. yeah, he's like deep into being a Everybody Muslim. Everybody gets there when they're about to die. And I'm not saying he's about to die, but everyone, yeah. when, when, when they're uh, forced to kind of look at their own mor- mortality, right. but they get into that. No, like, he's actually living that life. Like his wife has the, shi- you know, the jihad on and everything. Wow. You know what I mean? Like, um, you know, like he's all about that. His wife is Muslim. He's mm-hmm. Muslim and he, he's, he's, speaking things from the Quran and he's living that life and the whole get up and everything still talks a little hood at times, but yeah, yeah. You know, uh, he's like a real big chef right now and you know, freeway was Muslim back then. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? But he looks like I would, I didn't even recognize him. He said my home, my brother freeway just found the donor. Yeah. Cause know, he had cause, liver problems. Right, I think. Yeah. So yeah. he found the donor. I don't know. This could be all old stuff that came and happened. Already, I think it's but relatively new. Is it? Cause yeah. I'm just like, to me it was new. I'm like, Holy shit. That's not freeway. Mm-hmm. That's free. Man, Steven's a goal. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. I mean, but Beans was still talking about putting out an album. That'd be interesting to hear. Uh, you're going to put out like a Muslim album? Because you can't really talk about the Beans we know. <laughs> well, even like, I think he got a lung removed. So he can't, right. like, even hearing him rap, he, it's almost like he's whispering. He's not really right. like, he can't project he's the way that he wants to. He's got the way to. like 50 did when he was shot. So he had to, you know, 50 had to talk to his mouth for me. He took for me. Yeah. But that's how he had to do the shit. So it'd be interesting to hear the whisper, Beanie Wisp. Beanie Wisp. <laughs> the Bee Wisp. The Bee Whisper. Whisper him down, cuz. Yeah. Him down. <laughs> whisper him down. <laughs> whisper him down. Steven Lagoon. Like, oh, oh man. Yeah, but back to what we were saying. Let's loop it all the way back. Lupe, yep. it's a fiasco. Um, talk to, to yeah, man. I, I'd be, I wouldn't be surprised if Trump just goes. That's me. I'm out. I got. I gave you four. Right. And I'm gone. Gave you solid four. Um, when you motherfuckers said I couldn't do it. <laughs> like his penis gave him a solid four. <laughs> um, rumors. These are rumors. These are rumors. She know. Because that's the thing that you never really know. Because like I said, yeah, he's in his 70s now. Mm. But he's a billionaire and he's been a billionaire for a long time. So he might not maybe want he's done. Right. He might. Just be bored and be like, fuck it, because they always say that when you have money for that long that there comes a point where, like, you've done it all. But then I'm just like, I think he doesn't have the freedom that he wants right now. Right. Of, you know, when you're a billionaire, you don't have to do fucking anything you don't want to do, you know? now it's like he's being, he's kind of got a leash on him a little bit where, like, Mr. President, can't do it. Exactly. What what do you mean I can't do it? This is stupid. I want to fire everybody. Like they could have fired everybody in his cabinet. Exactly. <laughs> Except for the girl uh, Sarah with the weird eyebrows, who I swear is a trend. She's just eight. aggravated, man, at all times. And but but that's a job that sucks too because she's got the job of the um lying what? for the nigga. Basically, <laughs> basically it's you have to okay, he just did all this and then now you have to sit in front of the reporters and justify and it. it. And it's up, like yeah. The big fuck. The world's messiest janitor job. Give it up for Sarah. I forget her last name. <laughs> I don't know. Cause S dot. Yeah. She just got to go in there like, listen, what he said wasn't true. And then she's looking down like this. Yeah. It's it's the whole like, li- he misspoke. Right. Yeah, like, well. nah, I don't think so. The niggas probably see now. You know, when niggas get seen now, they say whatever the fuck. The filter's broken, honey. Yep. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's probably got early Alzheimer's. That's that's all it is. His filter's broken. Ah, oh, goddamn Negroes. There's what, that. What or it could just be the whole fucking like. Dude, when you're that old, part of it, mm-hmm. and when you're that rich, when, like, this is a brand new thing for him, for him having to watch his mouth, right. you know, to where he's probably just just used to having a different level right. of freedom. It's like, you know? man, I say and do what the fuck I want, and now you're telling me I can't? Yeah. You know? Exactly. I say and do what the fuck I want, now I got to chill? Right. Mm, so bogey. He, he, so he challenges all that all the time, by the way, I'm going to go to Twitter. Yep. Let these niggas know what I think at all times. <laughs> For real. <laughs> and then it's like, well, why are they judging me? What, what, you know, you know, it's like, come on, man. You know, it's like the new anthem rules and all that. And, yeah, I know, think just he's patting himself on the back. See that? Yeah. Made them change their rules. Not really, but yeah, you threw some enough waves in there for them to fucking. Because yeah, you you got political connections, of course. You got mm-hmm. money, power, and that whole 
you could sway some people away from sponsoring them and shit. You yep. know, and the NFL was like, oh, shit, we're getting slammed here. And, you know. The NFL is fucked, man, because, in, in my opinion, partially because they did cower to the whole, um, you know, I, I don't know how big the ratings drop was. But, right. dude, those new rules are fucked. Yeah. They said it was a small dip, but, you know, you know the guys get, well, if it's small now, it's going to grow even more next year. These yeah, guys yeah. keep coming out with these. Hey, and the XFL's coming out in uh. 2019 or 2020. Nice. Um, and there's another one coming out as well because another league? Yeah. Oh, okay. There's um the XFL was started by Vince McMahon and mm. somebody else. But okay. that other pre- it, I'm thinking of Dick Ebersol, but I don't know if it was him. But regardless, okay, so it, started, yeah. it was started by <laughs> Richard <laughs> Vince McMahon and that other gentleman. Yep. Now Vince McMahon is coming back with the XFL. That gentleman, his son is coming out with his own. It's like USA football Yo, or some shit. That's crazy. Can you, I'm, I'm fly, almost flashing forward to like 20, 30 years from now where there's going to be like multiple leagues like that. And the yeah. NFL is going to be like, yeah, hey, we used to be. You know, you can't. What does my man say? What's the, what's the URL, the uh, battle league? You can't copy respect. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? It's kind of like, that's a respected league, man. You know what I mean? That's like the, the fucking creme de la creme. Whoa. You, you know? <laughs> and you're going to come in there and fucking, you know, try to. Have your own thing and develop your own, fit, but it's still competition. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, no. Wendy's, McDonald's. Well, Burger the King thing is that they are starting on the off season. You know what I mean? Where like right. football ends and then they're giving they're everybody another chance to, to watch some more football. Okay. But depending on how it goes, who the fuck knows, man? Right. You know what I mean? That's depending true. On how I mean it goes. because Little Wall been around forever and it they, they, still hasn't took over like CFL. Yeah, yeah. Has a league. You know, it's like motherfuckers that can't make the pros maybe or trying to scrounge for a job. They go up there and get paid. Yep. You know what I mean? Just like overseas basketball. Like, yeah, there's, mm-hmm. there's a spot for you to go get money. And uh, I'll tell you something about CFL. It makes you respect the athleticism and the athletes that are in the NFL. Because I could put it to you like this. The Rock couldn't make it in the CFL. No? Yeah. Oh, wow. He went up to CFL and fucking shit the bed. Doped him out. So, whew, yeah. these guys are doing some things, man. Yeah, like, I've been pretty close at a couple of uh, different Jets games and, mm-hmm. like, Seeing just they, dude, there's some big fucking people that are hitting each other really fucking yeah, hard. Yeah, and that's you know what what I mean? that's the thing. Like a TV is like I want to see it. I haven't been to an NFL yeah, game, yeah. professional game, but to see like you, you hear the numbers of the, the like the statistics on these guys' size. You know, he's six five, three hundred and fifty pounds. You know what I mean? It's like you don't really know what that looks like till you're looking at the shit. Like mm-hmm. oh no, this nigga's like lineman and shit. Like this nigga's really six seven. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like yeah, three sixty five, three eighty. Like oh my god, that's huge. That's muscle, nigga. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? It's like 360, a solid dude. You know? mm-hmm. It's like, that's a monster next to you. You know what I mean? True. You know, I'd like, and then you said they're running full speed, knocking each other the Cracking fuck around. the fuck out of each other, you know? That's almost like if you're down on a 50-yard line field level and you hear the impact and you're seeing the speed. Oh, yeah. To see how fast they're actually moving in person is something else, I'm pretty sure. Mm-hmm. Like, no, people are getting the shit knocked out of them. But it'll be cool to see... Um, the effect that I, I'm, in my opinion, this is the perfect time for another league to come out. You know, and like yep. I said, it's not going to be direct competition, right? Because um, even give you with something else to check out, yeah, even with like you said, there was a dip in viewership, but obviously uh, us as you know, right. lonely patrons of the United States, we don't know <laughs> the exact numbers and right. shit like that. But um, but that's why the NFL's branching out. They're doing a lot. Yeah. Of, there are more and more European games are coming in the league. I mean, it used to be like one a year. Now there's like yep. two, three. Over in London, every oh, wow. every season, like two, three, they had like two or three different ones this year in London. So now it's like the viewers are waking up nine o'clock in the morning. They're watching football. Yeah, you know what I mean. So my game starts like you. You thought your husband was gonna do shit before? Yeah, that nigga really ain't doing shit now. Like, now he's drunk at nine forty-five. <laughs> <laughs> I'm drinking at nine in the morning. Uh, right. no, I'm not doing shit. I'm not. This is what I church. do when I watch football, babe. Right. I drink. Right, and then it's like you got that game, and then it goes right into the one o'clock game, then a four o'clock game, then yep. there's a little small break, and then eight o'clock game comes on. Yeah, that nigga's not doing nothing. No, <laughs> if he's a big football fan and just likes to watch it, unless it's a game he don't give a shit. Like this is stupid. I don't want to watch this game. The Browns and the fucking Jets. Who wants to watch it? You know. Right. But if a nigga loves football, he gonna watch the shit. Yeah, I've been known. <laughs> but no, I think the um, like I said, I think it's a perfect time for another league to come in and try something because the NFL they they did fuck up, man, with the new rules of um, all right, if you're gonna come on the field, 
you have to stand there and you know respect right. the flag and all that other it's stuff. Not, but but even when the the kneeling wasn't disrespecting the flag. But I just right. mean that's that, that's that's it. their new yeah right. yeah how yeah, they yeah. put it their identity or of it. you can stay in the locker room if you want to or you can what they're saying is that there's going to be a spot. I guess maybe in the tunnel or there's something. A, so where you we can have be? so we put in a protest area. Yeah, I think that's okay. it. It's almost like a corral of like, <laughs> all right, so if you guys want, like, you can stay in a locker room, but if you want to be closer to the field and still, pro, then you can right. do but This is your freedom. Of, and what's going to really fucked up is they're going to shove cameras all in their face. So that's uh, and people are going to be like, look at this unpatriotic guy. Yep. Let's put the camera in this unpatriotic fucker's face. And how he's not out there respecting our flag. Yeah. And it's like, oh, to God. me and my humble ope, what they should have done is literally Never addressed it and just left it the fuck right. alone. You Let know them what do I mean? what they're doing. And they okay, that's your stage. If they don't want to show it, then don't have your cameraman not show them doing it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If yeah. you're worried about an NFL, then don't show the shit. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. Just, that's no, the they're too. doing it and they mean something, but they're not being filmed doing the shit. Or yeah. just don't show niggas during the anthem anymore. Show the, yep. the, the jets flying over or the yeah. flag. Show waving. the person singing it. Right. You, <laughs> you know, know what I mean? They're just like, yeah. You know, because they want to get that whole build up and the hype and the, the tears swelling in his eyes as the anthem's going on. The and Rockets red glare. Right. And he's the thinking box. about, and it's like he's not crying for the country. He's crying because he's getting emotional about his dad or something. You know what I yep. mean? My dad's sick right now and his song brings niggas to their knees. You know what I mean? Oh, there's so <laughs> many puns right there. <laughs> what? No, because to me, it doesn't affect the game. Like, to me, mm. if it was like... um Instead of running a play, the entire Patriots organization decided to take a knee altogether. Okay, then, like, if it's fucking up the game, right, right, then yeah, that's a problem. All right, we're gonna thing- take a knee here. Why are you doing that? But we're in protest during the game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, if they were doing that and they were actually messing up the actual game, right. I believe then that would be a problem and something to be addressed. But you're taking one knee during. The national anthem, right? Come on, I'm, man. I'm I, missing. I, I, I fucking talk during the national anthem. I, yeah, I, yeah. I might have told somebody pass me some popcorn when the exactly. shit was going on. I've been to high school games and you yep. know collegiate games or whatever, and it's like you look around. Not everybody's being quiet with no. their hand on a heart. Mad people like, got Sit their down, Johnny. Mad <laughs> people got their hats on. Right. Come on. Exactly. Kids are on their phones, shit right. like that. It's people are talking. They're laughing. They're cracking jokes, and, and get, a lot of people that that want to shit on it. It's Listen, when you're at home watching the shit on TV, they're playing the national anthem. What are you doing? You're sitting there scratching your fucking nuts. <laughs> no you know nigga I, mean? I have ever seen stand up. I've never <laughs> been to a Super Bowl party, hands down, never been to a Super Bowl party with the most patriotic motherfuckers in the world. Yeah, they stood up when the national anthem was on. No. And they're in the fucking living room. Or told everyone to be quiet. Right. And, and no. Or yo, get the fucking flag from outside and bring it in, bro. Exactly. Yo, bring salute. It in. Yo, salute. Salute it. Bring it in. If you love your fucking country, bring it in. There's, there's other ways to show you love bro, for country. Bro, even in the stadium <laughs> where we're talking about, yeah, there's the people there, but yo, no hot dog is not sold during the fucking national anthem. Nobody's <laughs> stopping to do anything. If you're Peanuts about to... Here. Exactly. That, well, I mean, that might stop. Right. I'll give them that. They, they might stop selling the cotton candy but and shit, but... Mid-transaction's not going to stop. If the, no. Hold on. Hold if you're change. about to buy some nachos, they're not going to be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Rockets are red glaring over here. It's chill, chill, chill. <laughs> Bombs bursting. Right. Things going to hand you a change, stand there for a second, and then keep it moving. Yeah. So you don't get punched in the throat by a nigga that thinks he's disrespected. <laughs> For real. But yeah, oh, a lot dude. of people, they, it's that false bravado of just like, no, 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 this is the way that we do the shit. And when you don't even do the shit like that, it's right. not. It's, it's just back to that same motherfucker that's critiquing everything in a, in a particular a religion. He is his belief. And now he's this, you know, born again Christian that's all about my word. It's yeah, like, yeah. Nigga, I can guarantee you can go through uh, about 10 different things of your word that you are not doing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so how much are you about that life? You know, if you're going to be about that life, be all the way. Exactly. You know what I mean? That might be a t-shirt too, nigga. <laughs> no, pe- people have that comfortable feeling of comparing what they do to everybody else. It's, well, well I'm not as bad as boom. Right. You know what I mean? And that's well, just... you just not... And listen, and- listen. Controversial hot take, America the Beautiful is a better <laughs> fucking song anyway. <laughs> Talk to him. Shine <laughs> thy good... With Brotherhood from C2. <laughs> Come on, that's a better song anyway. That's a better one. We should incorporate that. It's a Who better do we talk fucking to? song anyway. What's that guy? Something Scott, Francis Scott? Sorry, bro. 
<laughs> you know, we're gonna have to we're gonna push you to the side and get some new shit going. Nigga. Exactly. You know, things change, right? People wanna change shit all the time. Knock statues down. Let's change the song. <laughs> for real. Let, and, and we want credit on this show for starting that wave, nigga. Exactly. Text a nigga. Hashtag. Let us know. 203 594 6977. Call or text. Let us know what the fuck you got going on in your life. Let us know what your podcast is, man. We'll give it a listen. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? We'll give it a listen. Right. Listen for listen, guys. Listen what's for your listen. Favorite, what's your favorite anthem? Exactly. <laughs> uh, probably the Rough Rider. <laughs> Yo, imagine that shit. Fucking Whitney Houston gets up, R.I.P., and just right. Stop. <laughs> Drop. Shut them down. <laughs> Those notes wet. Open up shop. Whoa. <laughs> no. Uh, that's oh. how rough. Right? <laughs> Just crying. <laughs> Yo, just that single <laughs> tear. Just <laughs> go. <laughs> Woo. Shit, DMX would be so <laughs> proud. <laughs> <laughs> Where Rest- am I, dogs? <laughs> Rest in peace, Boomer. <laughs> <laughs> With for the back tap. For y'all that don't know, do, bo, Doomer, Boomer <laughs> is the reason behind it all. Nigga. There's real. no DMX without Boomer. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> What's changed, dude? I didn't want to change things. I want. I got a couple of things I want to change, too. Huh? How about that? Yeah. Mom, I guess. Change it up. Shit. Let me change them damn self-checkout lines. <laughs> Give me more of them. <laughs> right? <laughs> No, and that's the worst thing too with, with the self checkout lines is like you'll you'll go there and they'll have two open and then there's always somebody who's using it for the first fucking time, which right. like how long have you been here? Right. You know? And, and and I think a stop needs to happen because I've had this in the hood, stop and shop, went up in that motherfucker, and it's a self checkout line. Shorty do rock got two carriages full. Like, yo, not for nothing. Yo, kick her the fuck out of here. Exactly. Yo, I'm in here yeah, with yeah. a basket with six items and this bitch in here with two carriages. Mm-hmm. I understand it's self checkout. But who's watching her? <laughs> She's probably doing two scans and two drops. <laughs> one, two here, three over there in the bag. One, two. All right, don't put that on. Don't put that on the scale. They watching. Right. <laughs> Watch. You know what I mean? It's like, good God, somebody step up to the plate before I bark in this bitch. <laughs> God. Before I bark in this bitch's grill. You know what I mean? Like, good God. So there should be some rules for the self checkout. There should definitely be some rules you know for the self checkout, I mean? and they should just work better. Right. Because also, there's times too where it's like. Uh, we're in 2018 and like you can't tell me that okay maybe i m- made the mistake and i went and bought frozen vegetables first so by the time i get to the checkout they might be partially defrosted and there's a little bit of condensation on the bag right. and that's ruining the entire game <laughs> i can't but just oh, man, dry this shit off and i can't ice what? cream uh, right. yeah uh, oh my god with the frost on it you gotta you, you gotta scratch it like a fucking uh mega money you just gotta <laughs> Get that clear right there. Get that barcode. Yeah. Like the you, mega money, just right. come on, If you man. go too hard, you might remove part of the barcode. Yep. And now, you're, now you're hitting up. I need help over here. Well, that's the thing, too. If you ever get a barcode that, say you buy some, like, fresh bread that they made at the store, and they got to put their own sticker on Oof. it, but they put that shit on with the with the fold in it. So yeah. it's fun. And then you mm. and then you try that, and you rip right. it. And you're trying to do, like, that tough bag of chips <sighs> you can't get open. Mm-mm. For real. <laughs> get these motherfuckers right. Oh, self checkout, but, but, but that's supposed to be the new wave, though. They, man, Sorry. it's all they're trying to do that automation shit yeah. because people want to bark about minimum wage being fifteen dollars an hour. You're not that smart. You're not that smart to just go minimum wage should be fifteen dollars an hour. Okay, we'll give it to you. No, what they're going to do <laughs> is when you walk <laughs> into McDonald's. That's why when you walk into McDonald's Touch now, screen. you see that big ass. Um, uh, 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 vertical flat screen, which maybe there'll be one person over that to help you and show you how to do it. But other than that. Like you're I on can, your own, homeboy. Right. I can see a flash forward of pulling up to a McDonald's in the year, I don't know, 2040, 2045 or something. And there's just a big vending machine it's just, at that right. point. And it's just like, it's just, you You just pull up to multiple fucking touch screens. It's like yep. a bunch of drive throughs for multiple, and you, you and you, you custom what you want, boom, 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 boom. And then there's a machine back there, and a nigga that's, the nigga that's getting paid is a nigga making it. No, the nigga that's fixing the machines is getting paid. Yeah, yeah. All right, this didn't come out right. All right, let me adjust that. Let me tweak that here. Mm -hmm. He's getting paid. Minimum wage. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. That's it, man. Yo, the the system isn't going to bow to the fucking amount of money that people want, How can we get it done quicker, easier, and Mm -hmm. cost effective? You know what I mean? It's That's the way these niggas want it. How can I save a couple dollars and give them what they want? And McDonald's is like mean? playing with billions and billions of dollars, and that's all they do. We're like, well, what else? Are we, well, we're gonna figure out how we can get this shit. How can we kill these niggas quicker? <laughs> For real. 
I haven't ate McDonald's in like fucking two, three years, man. That's a good. That's a good one. Yeah, run, man. it's just stay um, away from it. If I ever do, it, it'd be like a salad, the salad, or maybe a chicken wrap. But uh, I haven't. I can honestly, I haven't had a burger from McDonald's in <laughs> the bougua at least a year. Because I know, last time I tried it, one time with my mother, I was like, "Fucking, let me get this Big Mac a shot. They're two for five. Two bites, three bites in, and nigga's stomach was like, ah. Mm-hmm. Mm. You cut. know what? I don't know what the fuck their bread is. I'll never eat their bread. Like if I'm, cause that shit is always wrong to me. If mm. I'm on the run, like, um, and I gotta grab something while I'm doing the Uber out there, He's on the run eating Nori. I'll get, <laughs> I'll get um like the um big double, mm. but I throw out everything except for the meat and the cheese. That's it. That and bread has like, been known after a day to be rock solid, dude. That bread because <laughs> I, you know, so I'll frisbee it out the window and uh, yeah, it's definitely like knocked a couple birds off yeah. the side. You ever seen that? Uh, you leave a burger kind of, they let a burger McDonald's just kind of sit and get old on purpose for a while, and you see a weird thing like, how come? Oh, that's just weird. I ain't it ain't turning no mold or nothing. It's like, what are they putting in this shit? Salt, right? It's that's like there's it is, there's bro. no mold. There's nothing. It just turns like a rock hard weird <laughs> shit. I know. On. You ever find like <laughs> uh like a piece of McDonald's bread, say like under your car seat right, after right. you clean it's, it out. It's like, it's this, like what, what the what is, fuck? Who does this pebble? Oh, How this? did this toast? Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know which one does that too? In a day, it's fucking rock solid. If you don't put it in like the fridge or even if you do it in a fucking Subway, man. Yeah. Subway's bread, they do something with it. It was mm-hmm. like, yo, and that was the, that was the big, car. there's plastic in the bread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we heard all that, but it, there's something there that makes it. It's like fucking rock solid. I go get a loaf from the Italian spot. It doesn't do that in a day. Yeah, yeah. It might get stale, you know, but it's exactly. not gonna turn into that brick like that. It's yep. ridiculous. And they do say that. Yeah, I mean, well, I've seen it too. Subway is all like fresh baked, fresh baked, but whatever they're fresh baking is like it's not fresh. Uh, these nuts. I take some cookies. <laughs> not lasting. <laughs> like that time I went to that Subway. Shout out to Shorty that didn't love her job, uh, or didn't like her job enough. I'm going up there, standing at the register, looking around. Okay, where anybody around here? Is somebody yelling from the back? I thought she was talking to somebody. Oh, uh, yeah, registers uh, down. So I'm thinking she's telling somebody else. Never came out to say anything to me. I'm, I'm yeah, just yeah. hearing a voice. Registers down, you know. And then I'm hearing her talk because she's saying it, and I can hear her talking to somebody. So I think she's on the phone. Mm-hmm. So she's like, "Yeah, uh, registers down." I'm like, "Okay, she's not talking to me. Yeah, I'm yeah. just trying to buy a fucking cookie, anyways." <laughs> she goes. I said the register's down. Ooh. I said, well, maybe if you came out here like a normal person and would right? tell me, how am I supposed to know you're screaming from the back? I can't yeah, even yeah. see your face. You know, what kind of, what kind of, you know, if you don't like your job, quit. You right? know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't tell you to, to pick Subway. Listen, this is a uh, uh, hot take, controversial take, but uh, <laughs> man, some girls, like, you got to, I'm, I'm not saying that a man should swing on you, but like, there should be. <laughs> A woman there to swing on you just to be right. like, listen, you can't just say whatever you want to. Right. Like say, that's not how uh, human beings work. Like, Beulah, can you do me the favors? Exactly. Give just her a couple stacks. Just one. Just uh, over that. Just lunge over the right. top. They're like, don't even bend your arm. Just keep it straight. Keep it taut. Right. And just go over the top. But on and, them. and we're not talking about some, you know, round the way wild. Chick. I'm talking about I'm on like a Ronda Rousey chick with me. <laughs> he like just handle you. It's like, yep. she, like, but what? She's a woman. She hit like a man. I get it, but she's exactly. a woman. Exactly. Born and bred. Let it happen. (laughs) No, I feel you on that, man. But that's like what you were saying before about the cute chicks thinking sometimes they can do whatever they want to do. Yeah, man. That that's why, like, and dude, the internet, social media has ruined everything for Mm. women. For 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 guys like me that look average to bad is like, Mm. dude, the internet has souped up women so much that. And listen, I'm not saying that it's wrong to fucking you know empower women and shit like that. But average looking girls <laughs> are now fucking um, just just fucking fawned over so much by dudes that it is like, you know, they, they put up a picture of their elbow and just like, oh my God, yo, your elbow's so fucking hot. Yeah, man. I would lick your elbow. Yeah, I would, and it's yeah, like, beautiful. so they get that big head about them. And uh, then, you know, average to right. bad looking guys and, like and, me and, don't have and, no chance listen, anymore when they used to have a chance. <laughs> Fuck. And what we're saying here, folks, is it's nothing wrong with a little confidence in your life. No. But don't be arrogant. You know what I mean? Mm. And and we don't even like the, the bitches that are really bad. Excuse me. The women. I call them bitches because they act like it. The ones that I'm talking about that are really bad and they got this really bourgeois, you know, kind of yeah, way yeah. about them. And it's like, all right, you're cute and all. 
Like, cut it out. You know exactly. what I mean? That, that turns you into a bitch to me. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, not you. But bitch. the unfortunate thing is, is that there are so many thirsty guys out there that fucking ruin it for the rest of us. Like, right. put it that way, where it's right. like, man, you, you don't, stop asking, stop acting like that's the last pussy on earth. You know what, <laughs> what I mean? Like, there's more out right. there. Right. And you got to know that. A woman, a woman that looks that good, and she put a picture up, and you're you're you're, you're adding, oh my god, you're so beautiful, with the other six hundred mm-hmm. fucking messages saying the same thing. It, exactly. It's nothing original. You gotta put up a yeah, I, you know right. what I mean. You want to try to catch your Yo, attention? What up with them eyebrows Let though? <laughs> <laughs> Let her know that you're not feeling right. the manicure. As Let my man know. told me, he said that there's a method that that's called the peg down. You gotta peg mm-hmm. them down. We know you bad. Everybody know you bad. You get hit on all night. Yeah. Like, you got to be like, yo, you wore them shoes, though? <laughs> Damn, you got bunions. Look at them bunions, though. Oh, my God. You know, some women will be really upset about it. But if she's into mm-hmm. you a little bit, she'll pay attention. Kind of respect it, right. I think, you more know. than... Uh, yeah, man, because the internet, like I said, it's just put... it's Back to 40-year-old virgin, it's put the pussy on a pedestal, right. and that's a problem, right. you know? So where I'm not, you know, I'm not saying don't give a woman a compliment, but right. it's just I'm it's all about my so, sugar. like... I pour it on. There's so <laughs> many... Lonely dudes out there that are just like, you know, giving the best compliments in the world to people who right. just may, keep, it, may, keep it real. It, <laughs> shut this shit down right now. <laughs> Did you just come up with that? <laughs> <laughs> I've been known. I've been working on that. Because that, that sounds was, like some good advice. Yeah, listen, I've been, I've been working on that one. Uh, that's been a slogan I've been running with for about three, four years in the bank. I decided right now, 2018. Uh, July 23rd. <laughs> Yo, copyright that shit, yeah, dog. Yeah, copyright. Yeah, keep it real. I think about a whole t-shirt line, perhaps mugs. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I mean, we'll have it on, the, uh, we'll have it on our, our online yeah, shop. WVPshop.com, yeah. man. Look out for that keep it real merchandise, you know? <laughs> keep it real. Merch. You heard it here first. You know what I mean? <laughs> keep it real. That's, you know, like, guys, we're for, groundbreaking on this shit sometimes. This, we do things and say stuff. Mm-hmm. And that's the stuff we talk about, keeping it real. For real, man. Yeah, so once again, man, hit us up on this hotline, 203-594-6977. Like I said, we got that new Instagram out there, Watermelon VS Pumpkin. Uh, That's the, uh, what do you call the name? The fucking uh, screen name. Screen name, screen name, screen name. Man, like I said, we just opened up the web store, WVPshop.com. And I forgot to tell you on the web store, man, because, you know, we run our own shit, so we can do discounts. Discount them. For the foreseeable future, if you will. We got the discount code mm. watermelon, spelt normally. <laughs> on, on the checkout, man, there's a spot for the discount code. If you put in watermelon, you get 10% off your entire order. So Talk just, man, we just, eggs. I mean, we, we just trying to service you. You know service what I mean? You with service and honestly, we're, we're really not even trying to make a ton of money off this shit. We're trying to get the, you know, Spread the word. Spread, spread the, the word. Spread the brand. You know what I mean? You get them dope ass socks. Some socks is kind of key. I'm just saying. Exactly. Wearing the chocolates for my, you know what I mean? The chocolates with those socks on. She was ground stopping. <laughs> Bars. Yeah, once again, that's WVPshop.com. You'll see it all up there. It's a beautiful thing, man. The uh, shipping is quick and all that other stuff. I ordered my shirt. I got the shit in three days, okay? Because this is the thing about the um, the spot that we use. If Even if you're overseas and shit like that, they got the uh, international shipping and all that stuff because the um, the place that we use is they have a spot in California okay. and they have a spot in North Carolina. Right. So wherever you are closer to that is where it ships from, which is pretty dope. So, so you'll get it quicker wherever you are, man. Nice. But nice. Like we said, man, WVPshop.com. Get all that new shit. We got the Kiki t-shirts the Kiki. up there. We got the uh, Don't Love Hate, it. Just Bake. There's mm-hmm. plenty of little mattress merchandise up there. Mm-hmm. We're going to get up some more pop culture stuff. We're going to get up some more um, young pastry stuff. And now here is the story that I heard mm, talk to that him. made my heart melt. Melt them down. That made... My mouth smile. <laughs> Faith Evans. Make my mouth smile. I like that t-shirt. Go ahead. Yo, boo, make my mouth smile real quick, ma. Yo, Faith Evans, uh. Um, I don't give a fuck if she was married. Another side chick of Biggie's, because in my opinion, Biggie had all side chicks. Oh, yeah, there, like, there was yeah, no... Uh, Kim, you was one too. There was it. no loyalty. <laughs> um, Faith Evans came out and admitted that... Um, Biggie licked her butthole, which is of he course her butthole. completely fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, and then she came out with the megaton bomb that she 
Return the favor, <laughs> which uh, <laughs> I wish that celebrity sex tapes were being made back then. That's one big sweaty nigga, though, to be jumping down. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby, but that's one big sweaty nigga like Faith. You did that? You took one for the team, baby. Yeah, yeah. You like put Faith, your face you in You are that, a down ass bitch. You know what I mean? That was a big sweaty man's ass crack you put your face <laughs> in, baby. For I'm real. I'm just saying, baby, that's some dedication for the, that's some love. And because or some paychecks and so <laughs> and listen, I'm gonna go hashtag pause uh, for the uh, for 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 you know until further notice. <laughs> Was he on his back? <laughs> Was he on his stomach? After I shits on the bitch, I think was he, he said that I <laughs> was 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 it Shit. a laying on the side sixty nine situation? Oh my god! How did it go? That nigga definitely was laying down on a job. <laughs> oh, I'm trying. Sure, I'm trying. Sure, I'm trying to picture it. it. Yeah, I'm yeah. trying you not to, but, to, but, but you want but to. You want yeah, to. man. I'm just seeing like dope ass fucking shades, and the nigga just on his back with his legs cropped in the air, toes to the ceiling fan. Nigga, Yo, just he, he, for real, that is so funny because you know he would wear those fucking shades during sex. Butt naked with shades on. Yeah, yeah. Every just lick, trying to be cool. Every lick brings on a oh. Oh. <laughs> Biggie. Biggie. Oh. Slower, Faith. Slower. Oh. <laughs> Lick up on the brim. Slow flower. <laughs> that Damn. shit, I think that's so fucking Faith funny and so, so brave fucking for amazing. That. She is so brave <laughs> for sharing that. Like. They call Caitlyn Jenner brave. No. <laughs> Faith Evans. Woman of brave. the year. Woman of the year, <laughs> Faith Evans. Faith Evans. Right there. And it was weird with Faith because it was news, when her family was discussing with her for they didn't want her to marry Stevie J. Mm. Uh, and she did secretly. Yeah. So they're really upset. And her son was tight because Stevie J is his godfather. Who? And now his stepdaddy. So that's, that's a lot of uh, that's a lot of daddies. White people on. usually do that shit. Not uh, you know mixing different. You well, know. she's kind of white looking. She's a, yeah, <laughs> very light skinned. She's carrying and flesh. She, well, she and little Kim came off in that movie because they both got hot women to play them. Like right. yo, little Kim must have been like, holy shit, good, right, good, good. Right. Because don't little Kim now. does not. <laughs> <laughs> don't give me the now. Don't do the, the now, do the now <laughs> Kim, please. Don't give me the now. <laughs> uh, don't give me the now. Uh. Oh, but faith, man, they got all those jokes and shit about how like if. You know, Lil' Kim goes to wherever Biggie is after he dies. He's not going to recognize her. And that shit is true, man. He's not going to recognize her. Oh, who the fuck is that white girl coming up here? Who the fuck is this? (laughs) Who the fuck is this Chinese chick coming up? Oh, that's that ain't Kim. Get the fuck out of here. I feel bad for her, man, because, uh, and, you know, of course, it's your own decision that you've made when you choose to mutilate your face. But Mm. (laughs) it's been, like, the results are out there. It's not like people go get plastic surgery and then, like, hmm, I wonder how that came out i don't know i'm never gonna see no 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 you see how it came out right we obviously you have, have not perfected it there's no way I, I there's something there's a mental issue there if you can honestly stand in front of a mirror and go i look good yeah yeah <laughs> you or, know, like, or like this is better than before right it's like whoa you don't notice like the weird skeletal weird fucking shit yeah. going on plastic shiny sharp mm-hmm. It's just sharp. <laughs> Dude, there's porn stars that do it too. Like there'll be like a porn Oof. star that'll come out and you'll be like, oh man, she looked good. Then you then you'll see her like in a, in another video and you're just like, oh, what yeah. the fuck happened Listen, to you? I've been to some strip clubs in my time and uh I I'm I'll be honest, I know a lot of people are into them, but me personally, I'm not into fake breasts, man. I I they just I guess maybe there's some better ones out there than I felt, but the ones I did is like, eh. I like yeah, real. I, I like real kind of like give, you can get some big breasts, but real big ones. You know, mm-hmm. they got that s- certain kind of. I want one that in. I could sidekick and it won't explode. You <laughs> right. know what I mean? I just want like that I can. Right, just throw it on a nigga. You head. want something that that you could be, you know, a little <laughs> bit rough with and and not worry about rupturing it. And right, like, right. oh, cool, we were having sex and now something inside of you exploded <laughs> and you might die, so we have to go to the hospital. <laughs> Word leaking. Cool. Yeah. So that what's leaking is not because you're, you're lactating. Okay, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's I'm, I. would just wasn't a fan. It was like, yeah, mm-hmm. you know, some strip clubs. You know, they say, you're not supposed to touch those strip clubs. Well, some of them I've been to, they allow the shit, right? And you when she I mean? puts the titty on top of my head, I'm sorry, she's she's touching me. I'm not touching her. Right. Okay, it's, it's like, sitting wait, there. Let me just... squeeze. All right, mm-hmm. we're good here. And that was a <laughs> fake tit. I like them real. Thank you. Exactly. I'm all it's about the, the real. Yeah, the itty bitties too. I'm more of an ass guy anyway, so it's the real yeah, tit to make you feel shit. <laughs> tit hop, tit hop. So faith is a. Uh, Brave. Faith is out there eating it. And, and listen, I'm not, I'm not 
pardon the pun. I'm not shitting on Faith. I'm giving her the utmost. You know what I mean? Because the, because the dive down there, Ooh. I give her some goddamn respect. And what if the nigga squeezed out a greasy one too? Like, you know, he just had a ste- yeah, right. what do you have? El- Welch's grape ste- <laughs> steak eggs. You know the line of the song again? Yep. Egg steak and Welch's grape. Like he had that for dinner, and now you mm-hmm. definitely became on the bottom side of that when a nigga squeezed out a mm-hmm. that T-bone garlic steak. Fart. Yeah, one of them garlic farts. <laughs> garlic <laughs> mash. <laughs> that garlic mash. Oof, I love garlic, but I pay for it every time. Nigga, mm-hmm. just clear the room out. You are gonna get this garlic muck. Man, <laughs> so that's the thing too. Uh, and on these episodes from uh, last episode forward, man, mm. we're not just gonna number the episodes; we're gonna um, name them as well. So this will be, you know, episode twenty nine, mm. and it probably gotta have faith, something like that. Because you gotta have faith. God Oof, damn, man! I, like like I said, man, I'm I'm not making fun of her. I I respect that because the other thing too, who knows if Biggie knew it was coming? Because also, I, I didn't watch the entire interview, so I don't know if she said, like, this was a thing that we did often. This, you know how, like, right. when you're with a girl for a while, you fall into, like, oh, she likes this, so I do this to her right. a lot. I don't know if they had f- fallen into that of, like, yo, when I give him head, I keep going low, and I this is what happens. I but look his butt. Man, I, give her, I just give her respect for doing it because you don't know Ooh. if he didn't know it was coming. You know what I'm saying? And might have just, like, boom. You know, <laughs> did that dog? Fucking- well, she knew when it was coming because the shit was in her face. Ah, ah, right on the forehead. I guess to end that one, it was whatever. I gotta have that. <laughs> I gotta have that. Oof. Man. Gotta have faith. Name of the episode. Like For it. For real. I give her respect, though. Like <laughs> I said, man, I give her respect because <sighs> she, I, man, women do some nasty shit. You know what I mean? Women uh-huh. would definitely do some nasty shit. I guess that all coincides to the number 29 being Eric Dickerson. Mm. <laughs> Dickers in her uh, face, perhaps. I don't. <laughs> I don't know either. Oof. Good God, Faith. I don't even know what to say anymore. Yeah, I don't know what to say either, Check, man. please. All I, exactly. All I'm saying is uh, respect Faith Evans. You know what Ooh, I mean? That's and why the Stevie actress J- that played think, Faith Evans. I think that's why Stevie J with her, because he know. Yeah, exactly. He said, no, Because he know. seems like a fucking weirdo. He's right. probably... Uh, He's all about fur coats and getting his ass licked at the same time. Butt naked fur coats, booty lick. That's it, man. That might be the name of the episode, too. You never know. Butt naked with a fur coat. <laughs> Butt naked fur coats. Butt Good naked God. with a fur coat. Man, last little thing I'm going to touch on real quick. Mm, talk to um, me. Which I'm sure we'll touch on more in the future. But um, Brock Lesnar, man, he's going back to the UFC, which Brock. should be pretty dope, man. Mm. Um, the other the night, they had the uh, Daniel Cormier won the title, mm. all that, or defended the title. I don't fucking know which one. But Brock Lesnar came into the ring. They did a little back and forth promo, a little fuck you, fuck you. I'm going to choke you out. I'm going to knock you out. And uh, that's going to be something to look forward to in the future. It's always exciting when Brock Lesnar fights, whether in the WWE or whether in the UFC. It's always one of those. Is he done with UFC, though, or no? Do you know? What do you mean? No, no, he's about to go back to the UFC. Oh, okay, he's going back to the UFC. Okay. Yeah, yeah, he's going to go back to the UFC. So he's not done with WWE, though. Uh, I think soon. I think in the summer he's going to be done. But, no, as of right now, no, he's still got a little bit more time on his contract. But um, pound, nigga. That's one of those things, too, man. It's always an event whenever you see Brock Lesnar. Because even when he's in wrestling, and, yeah, wrestling is pre-planned. But you still get that feeling when Brock's in there like, yo, he might not, you know, (laughs) he might not go right. (laughs) Right, right. Like, there's that footage, man. Hey, if you ever decide to Google it. Once again, yes, it's wrestling, it's pre-planned, but sometimes things go wrong. And uh, there's a thing called a receipt where if a guy by chance in the wrestling ring hits you for real, maybe they messed up, maybe they just got too excited that adrenaline got to him. There's a thing called a receipt (laughs) where you, boom, you give it back to him. You know what I mean? And uh, if you ever look up, Brock Lesnar punches Braun Strowman in the side of the head. The shit was real. Once again, like I understand what people say about wrestling, but no, no, no. This was a receipt to where like... Dude, they replayed it like four or five times where they were like, oh, shit, that was a receipt. And that's kind of like a little insider um, WWE term, inside wrestling, a little bit of inside baseball. They don't usually say those words, you know what I mean? But they're like, oh, shit, he gave him a receipt for that one. Right, like a a jobber. The guy guy gets fucking beat up in two seconds. Mm -hmm. (laughs) But yeah, man, it was was real. So yeah, if you ever looked that shit up, Brock Lesnar punches Braun Strowman for real. That shit was dope. Does he have an opponent yet or no? For what? UFC? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Daniel Cormier. The, or, the, oh, Cormier. The, okay. The, you said the heavyweight okay. champ. So, gotcha. Brock's, Brock. And that's the other thing, too, about Brock. 
A lot of people try to shit on him, but Brock's no getting where you fitting. He goes straight to the yeah, top, I man. I want that big He's nigga. Who, who, who's, who's the best? Exactly. I want you. I want you. Yeah, there, there's no preliminary fight. It's like, I'm coming in. I'm fighting for the title. Let's do this. Let's go. Shout out to July. Hey, July, baby. He down with me, son. Mm-hmm. Cancer quad. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. But that nigga Brock, no joke, man. For big, real. Big individual. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, man, we appreciate you guys uh, for watching episode 29 or listening to episode 29. Mm-hmm. Talk, Either talk. way, however you consume it, hit like, share, and subscribe. Talk. This is that Eric Dickerson episode number yeah. 29. Sorry, uh, once again, this hotline, 203-594-6977. Mm-hmm. That website, mm-hmm. watermelonvspumpkin.com. That merchandise Merch store, um. wvpshop.com. That mm-hmm. Instagram is watermelonversepumpkin. That Facebook is watermelonversepumpkin. That niggas, Facebook no. is the Just Bake channel. That you Facebook niggas. is Little Mattress. That been, uh, whatever. Know what the ha to it. Figure it out. <laughs> we out here. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, it's always the beginning of the night. Yeah, we love all of you niggas that eat watermelon and pumpkin. Mm. Just know that. Unity. You no, know it's my season right now. But whatever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what up? You got to have faith. <laughs>